Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm Cincinnati man. I just got done watching uh, episode uh, eight of season six of uh, Love Is Blind, Clinging to Love. Um, it, it okay. I'm a. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. There's a couple people I'm mad at on here, and I don't know how. I'm. I'm gonna try to keep this very short. I'm trying to keep this video about five to seven minutes long. So let's get right into it. Um. I'm gonna say this right now. Big red flags with uh what is it? Um Amy and uh Johnny. Everything was fine at first, but Amy tripping. That's that's my note say. My notes say Amy tripping. This ladies and gen- gentlemen, men, women, there's a failure of, of communication here. He said kids she she even repeated yes kids in five years then she's like but if we have one before that it's no big deal he's like yes it is a big deal it's a huge response he's taking it more serious than her and she's the one that got to carry the baby but she's like yeah i know so i'm fine with it if it happens under under like even next year it's like no y'all have a plan financially a goals and everything and guess what yes it's tough and another thing when you know oh birth control so much and this and that so much, you're right. Women are, I had a conversation with a woman. She told me, she was like, You don't understand birth control, this birth control, that hormones, losing hair, all that. Like, I get it. But you're choosing to have sex. And the and, and side effect is either baby or get on birth control and have that other stuff. Or don't get a birth control and always had that fear of the baby and just gotta pull out, wear condoms, whatever. Um, she tripping. Well, I have a problem with that. You want a kid so bad. Let's check out your finances. Let's see. Let's let's make sure the finances. Stri- it's, it's a plan that makes sense. That's the crazy part. Jimmy not saying anything crazy. Johnny. Sorry, Johnny. <sighs> okay, AD and Clay. It was cute. It was cool. Um, it's funny. My friend James believes that uh, Clay should not be dating anybody. And he, needs, he, need, he believes that he should go see, have more time with a therapist and everything. Um, and at first I was, I was, I was like, you think so? Like, nah, now, nah. now I'm thinking about it the way he was like, uh, uh-huh. you know, my dad was, just, I don't, and questioning, making, like hoping that you won't let somebody down is a huge part of going to the next step in somebody's relationship being serious. The, the fear of not, not, not that you want to be perfect, not that you're going to do something, but you don't, you just have that fear of like, oh, I hope I don't mess up. Not, and some people are like, oh, so you think you don't mess up? No, I'm just like you know challenges will always happen in life and and even before they get there there's all you know there's sometimes people have a lot of fear and pre-fear <laughs> um I, I hope he i hope he uh and if he doesn't decide to be with her and needs more time and stuff i understand but they seem like they're rolling right along um chelsea and jimmy she is clingy she's clingy and sometimes, and guess what? And when you in new to relationships, one person has to adjust for the other, and vice versa. Y'all can't be the same with each other, but there are um, adjustments to be made. And sometimes one spouse is more understanding than the other. Um, Jimmy, Jimmy is saying all the right stuff, but but Chelsea's like, it doesn't feel like you're saying the right stuff, and he's like, what? Like, but I'm trying my, my best, and. You ain't trying good. You, you, the way women go off in this show is kind of amazing because it's like, oh, that's cute. You can go off like that. Let let a man talk to a woman like going off like that. It ain't gonna happen. If you if dead near sound like abuse. But yeah, they need some time apart. Um, the Jimmy and Jessica thing. Uh, at first I was hundred percent like, uh, forget her, but. If she came back, if she came through and stole and stole the stole the show and got him back, I mean that's fine. I mean I guess. I mean yes, it hurts. All what well, they say, all swearing love is war, love and war. You know I don't know. Oh, and James said that uh, Chelsea shouldn't be. He was like, man, Chelsea don't need to be dating nobody either. Like, cause she has so many. Do you like me? Are you are you afraid? Do you what do you think of me? Do you think I'm pretty? I've known some women to act like that. Like they need affirmation like every 30 minutes or something. It's, and, and and they and I get it. 
because when they act like that, yes, they've been because they're a woman, they'd be able to get with men, but they they've always been teased their whole life or or even had their inner demons about their looks, and they become very insecure, so they need that constant wave of emotion. That's where that comes from. So, you know, um, if they don't make it, Jimmy and Chelsea don't make it. I get it. <laughs> but I laughed. That's, that's I shouldn't have laughed. Um, let's see who else. Laura and Jeremy. Nothing's really going wrong. I mean, all I'll say is this: Laura ain't never wrong. I keep on saying that. I say it like every episode, like recently. I'm like. There's something off about this. I don't know what it is about Laura and Jimmy, but like, she's very headstrong. She's very, she's very messy because <laughs> now she's talking to Jessica and everything. There's something off, and I don't think I'm not being mean. You know how it is, y'all. You know you feel something about person like something's off about her. I don't know what it is. And yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy's goofy and silly, and he's all because he got all that stuff. But there's something I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um. We're gonna get right to it. Uh I my favorite, my favorite couple that I thought was real solid at first was Ken and Britt. But as okay, is it the editing? I don't know what it is. Ken kept on being cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. And he said something, had a nerd to say something one time, like, hey, you know, when we was on we was on deep Dominican Republic and stuff, yeah. I mean, I don't smile and stuff like that. That's not what I do. It's like, what are you talking about? Dude, you smile like 10 times. And had a genuine, yay, like, giddiness to you, maybe f- five of those ten, maybe. And then you went back to, like, you had so much on your mind. Like, you look like, you look like you, I don't know what you would, what my friend said, if Amy would have dressed up as a dolphin, he would have loved her. <laughs> but yeah, she, Amy's a good woman. Amy is being supportive, nurturing. And when she says, hey, I don't feel that affectionate, he's like, that's you. Kent, Kenneth got that Jada Pickett energy. I'm not here to make you happy. If you feel uncomfortable about something, that's some perspective that you got in your life. It's like, what? Amy, you're a good woman. I hope you find somebody. Not everybody's like this. And don't, don't, don't. Hey, hey. I was sitting there like, I hope she, look, I hope she don't think like every black dude who's like sitting there like, just cook my food. You know how I'm, I'm going to come home late. It is what it is. It's like, What? I just, I'm done. I'm done. I was cussing at. I was. I was saying all kind of mother. This is a bull. Cause Amy looked great. She. Hey. Hey. She. She looked great. She. she, she look, anyway. Affectionate. Hey, honey, would you cook something? Okay. I, okay. Lay back. Attentive. Asked her, "What do you think about being in the black experience?" And she said, "She said some stuff that was so." well said it was like she took a class on how to talk to black it was weird it was like well i don't understand i don't understand the struggle as much as you but i am willing to and i was listening like where, where's the script at who had a did they hire like some diversity person on the show to give her a run down or something like what's going on and he won't have nerd to look at her and be like i am who i am excuse me and you're right you're right you're right you are you are and you're disrespectful i'm cincinnati man i'm done with this shit I'm going on to episode nine. And yeah, I cussed. Because I'm that damn mad. Gonna do that bullshit. You know, I can't believe it. 